Hi everybody, my name is Jeff Tigert. I work for American Honda in the Motorcycle Product Planning Division. We're out here today to launch the 2014 CRF 450R. Let's go check it out. Okay, some of the major changes on the 2014 CRF 450R over the 13 year model is uh, the engine gets some revisions. It gets a brand new cylinder head um, with a new intake and exhaust uh, shape. It's uh, got a little different port shape than last year's model. Um, it also gets a new exhaust system, um, which has a different uh, separator in the Y pipe, um, just to improve the flow efficiency of the exhaust system. And, uh, but the biggest change for the motor is it gets a new dual stage timing fuel injection. And uh, what that is, it's a single fuel injector that uh, cycles twice instead of the normal one cycle that we had last year. And what that does is it allows um, the first charge of fuel to cool the intake track and also the face of the valve. Um, so when the second charge of fuel is released, it just gives it a little better efficiency and it gives it a little better atomization as it goes into the engine. Um, uh, not not as, uh, giving it a big horsepower increase, but what it does, it gives it a little better throttle response and a little better uh, low end torque feel um, coming off the bottom and allows it to rev a little faster um, than last year's model. So um, now going into the changes on the chassis, um, we get an updated front fork. It gets a, a new rebound piston and a new rebound rod. And it also gets a, a modification of the air pressure. Last year, our standard pressure was 33 PSI. Um, this year, we're going up to 35 PSI. Um, again, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, we, we listen to the customers. Some of the, some of the guys were running a little more pressure in it, and uh, it's fully adjustable. So it's not like it's taken away from anybody. If you like running 32 or 33, you'll be just as happy um, setting it up. Uh, it's one of the nice things about our air forks that it gives uh, the customer a lot of uh, adjustability on, on giving the front fork its uh, right feel for the, each customer's own abilities. Um, let's see, and that's, uh, that's really all the changes on this model. It doesn't get a ton of uh, modifications. We tried to address some of the areas uh, where we heard um, some feedback from our customers and some of the people that are racing these bikes from last year's model. So for more information on this new model, uh, please visit the Transworld website. And uh, thanks very much, everybody. Have a good day. Hey, everybody. This is Transworld Motocross. I'm Pat Foster. This is the 2014 CRF 450, and we're at Cheney Ranch today. Honda came out with an all-new bike in 2013, literally from the ground up, changed a lot of, a lot of issues that they had with the frame geometry. Uh, they've been struggling with some handling issues for the last few years. Um, the all-new all bike last year was a huge improvement over the last couple of years. Uh, for 2014, there's not a lot of, a lot of changes. They've uh, just addressed a few issues that we had last year. Number one, they, they played with the air fork a little bit. Last year, the, the air fork was smooth and progressive at first, but it just wasn't substantial enough. The, the fork would blow through really easily. If you added more air, it just made the initial ride a little harsher and it still blew through. It definitely needed some valving changes, which Honda addressed this year. They made it a little bit more substantial at the initial stroke. So the, the bike just feels like it rides up in the stroke a little bit higher, which ultimately gives it a smoother ride, a little bit more predictable, especially entering corners. The front end's a little bit more stable, uh, but the middle of the stroke is where it, it gets progressively stronger and uh, it just doesn't blow through the stroke nearly as much. So overall, it's a much smoother ride. Um, the, I think they've moved the stock air pressure up a couple of pounds. And so they adjusted the valving accordingly to, to work with the increased, uh, the increased air pressure. I would describe the action as the, as the fork holding its integrity a lot better. It's a, it's a lot more consistent. Come into the corners, you're hitting the braking bumps. It doesn't want to blow through the stroke as much. It feels smooth and uh, ultimately it was much more predictable than, than last year. Which kind of leads me to some of the handling characteristics that were a problem with the old Honda. The old Honda was very inconsistent entering corners. It had a tendency to want to push, and then it would, then it would stand up, and there was, just, there was just all kinds of geometry issues. The new frame that they added in 2013 improved that a lot. Um, so much more confidence inspiring coming into corners on the Honda now. The bike wants to steer with the front end. It still feels like it has a little bit of a front end bias, which I like. I like to steer with the front wheel, and so, um, just much more confidence inspiring coming into corners and diving in with the front end and, and uh, knowing that it's going to stick, it's not going to wash or wallow. Power wise, the Honda has a really interesting delivery, especially for a 450. Most of the 450s have a ton of bottom end and hit really hard and uh, pull into a really strong mid range, where the Honda's kind of, the, kind of the opposite. It comes on really smooth, almost, I don't want to say lazy, but just very measured delivery. 
The power delivery on the Honda, both this year and last year, I would describe as pretty measured, moderate. It, it comes on very smooth, never any hit on the bottom, no hit in the mid-range. It never feels like it wants to pull your arms out of the socket, which is, which is pretty unusual for a 450. Usually they're, they can be pretty overwhelming. Uh, the Honda's not that way. And I think a lot of people will like the power delivery. It's very smooth and measured, but it's effective. It puts, it puts good power to the ground. It's just efficient power. Um, there are some times out here on this track in some, of the small, in some of the soft berms where I wish it had a little more low end to pull you out. But conversely, on some of the slick inside lines, man, it just puts really effective power to the ground. Like I said, very efficient delivery and uh, something that encourages you to push hard. It's never, uh, it's never overwhelming. It's, it, doesn't get any, it doesn't get your attention. Uh, it kind of forces you to push hard, which I like. I definitely think that it could use a tooth on the back for me. I, I would like to have a little bit more bottom end. So I think a, just one tooth on the back would make it pretty effective. They did make some changes this year to the port shape, which gives it a little bit more throttle response really quick throttle. Last year was a little bit lazy right off the bottom and this that woke it up a little bit but I don't think it made any any difference in the power delivery. Overall we've had a great time here at Cheney Ranch riding the new 450 Honda. Uh, shootout time's right around the corner. It's going to be interesting to see how this thing stacks up against the other bikes. Please check it out. Thank you guys.